What's going on everyone? So it's been a while since I've done a video on the single cab. Uh, I do apologize. I have been l pretty diligent. I've been working on it, but uh, I haven't shared it with you guys in some time. So today wrapped up a little bit as you can tell. It's raining. Uh, this is the third week that the two days that I have off in a row, it rains. Um, but nonetheless, our current list uh, is getting getting knocked off here and there a little bit. Um, parts list total there, 2800 and some change. Uh, just this uh, same last month. Uh, with the funky green stuff that's came in, uh, you can see a little bit of it there. We'll get back to it in a minute. Uh, with the metal, uh, the 1600 dual port there. Uh, what else? Oh, and the uh, $950 order I had with uh, Wolfberg remnants of the box there. Uh, I've spent, shoot, <laughs> about uh, $2,500 the last month or so on the truck. Uh, you really don't see it, <clears throat> but hopefully I can uh, share some details here and perhaps uh, it look like I've been doing something and it's been worthwhile. Uh, we'll start with the uh, dog leg here. This is the lower portion of the inner and outer dog leg that is offered by Classic Fab. Uh, I actually went up a little higher on the original dog leg that was needed, uh, but I found it with my lack of skill set the simplicity of just taking what I had as a new section and attaching or welding to uh, my body was easier just to leave it how it was. So that is what I did. Uh, as you can see here, I finished up putting the ribbon in. Back order seal came in here from Bus Depot. Re riveted the uh, new latches from Wolfberg. So all the glass and stuff is all nice and tight now. Um, I followed Kurt on YouTube, uh, Funky Funky Truck, on how to uh, adjust these screws using a manual impact driver and a good size 24 ounce hammer. Adjusting those and getting the gapping and everything on the door itself with the seals intact, everything all around to get that nice that nice body line. Ah, it looks a little off there. Door may have settled a bit, but nonetheless, I followed Kurt's advice on that and it helped out tremendously. So, thank you, Kurt. Um, but here you can see the dog leg sessions. Uh, now, as far as all these, uh, these welds that you see, looks like some kind of pleating on uh, some jeans from the 90s. Um, I didn't intentionally have plans to put that many in, uh, but come to find out that my heat settings on the welder were not hot enough I wasn't really getting enough penetration between both pieces uh, therefore constituted uh, uh, the evidence of riveter anding here so uh, I haven't actually welded the bracket here uh, because I want to get a bumper to see if I need to construe this at all up or down or in or out before uh, making it permanent but driver's side, inner and outer dog legs uh, are intact, are there, uh, just need to grind down and uh, yeah, pleased with how they went. See, yeah, it's a little off on that side, it looks better there closed, but oh. anywho, finally got these uh, Turn signals in. I gotta patch the existing holes that someone did with their makeshift stuff here. Uh, clean this up. Uh, it's riveted now. It's having just the, the damnedest time getting it to to stay in place. I'm trying to weld. You can see where I've torched it here, uh, but I have plans of fixing that. Uh, plastic. They're so shiny. It just looks out of place on here, but. Well, you know, we'll make do, but again, we'll have to do something about the hole here and, and the holes here. So, passenger dog leg is in as well. You need to grind down and same scenario, I thought my settings were high enough, but actually I wasn't getting enough penetration on the bottom, bottom section here, so 
we'll have some stuff that we need to fix up. Uh, moving right along here on the passenger side. Let's go ahead and kick that treasure chest open. Oh. I think the last time I actually did a video, I was showing how I had primed, treated some rust and primed the, the treasure chest area here. Can't really see it. Let me grab a church key here. Open that up. You will see a shiny new cap along with a Wolfberg West seal going to a new Wolfberg tank. Now I have a separate video I haven't actually posted yet. I haven't decided if I'm going to or not, but um, it shows the nice detail, the powder coating paint. Uh, I chose to get the seal with a block off plate on top because I plan on keeping the original fuel tap set up. So um, I'll post that along side what we're doing today um, and the body line here on the passenger side is very nice very very nice gapping all the way around just looks really really good I had to fudge the uh, dog leg a little bit down on the side <clears throat> one point in time this door or this side of the vehicle rather is I've seen some bumps so it wasn't all perfectly straight. Uh, in here, you see maybe, yeah, just a glimpse there of a 55 through 59 front pan. Uh, apparently, it's not correct for my application, so I'm hoping to, to get that fixed out. Uh, boat anchor here, uh, a friend of mine lent me. He is going to give me the clearance uh, that I need to to shave out of this bell housing, this six volt bell housing down here, this transaxle to, to allow for the 12 volt flywheel. This is a 12 volt flywheel. Um, 1600 dual port. Um, the three and four over here is buttoned up, good to go. Uh, of course, issues with Volkswagens, we all know this. The inner stud can't see it have the cover there the intake stuff stuff's just floating here uh, the inner stud for cylinder two is actually stripped in the casing uh, I think that was contributing to the uh, the issues with compression because the motor one three and four all were 115 and up and cylinder two was sitting at oh 30 or 35 psi so something was up uh, of course, we removed the head, sandblasted them, cleaned the valves, lapped the valves. Uh, no indication of anything wrong. Uh, and I do believe the uh, compression would have went back up with, uh, with their motor running. But um, I'm thinking that stud was causing some, some array with the compression on cylinder two. So I'm going to put an insert in the case and uh, we should button that up. So uh, one and two on this side are actually just dummied up to keep the cylinders on nice and tight. Uh, so half the motor is back together, the other half is just uh, tell me to get, get to it. Purchased a 60 through 64 air breather in here, yeah, the air breather, oil, ba oil bath breather. Uh, and cool enough you can actually glimpse through here, but I actually already have the flange on the doghouse for that bad boy right there. So keep it from bouncing around. Uh, yeah, so that's the dual port. Uh, heat, heat exchangers weren't too bad. Some detail inside. This is, I decided, this is a German single port uh, master cylinder from Wolfburg West. I think it was about a buck and a half or so. Uh, it's a very nice looking unit. There's the other lens cover, but look at here. Uh, this little bundle here is all new hard lines for the truck. 
So all new brake hard lines. Uh, smaller box here. It looks almost like a harmonica case. Is the six fuse screw on terminal fuse panel fuse box. Uh, and this big pricey piece of equipment is a wiring harness. Now I've begun to uh, remove wiring, but I have read to you actually to help guide the new wiring harness in is to kind of link the new and the old together. So when you're pulling out, you're pulling in. I think that's a good idea. So I haven't completely removed everything on the wiring harness. As far as brakes go, I have been going underneath the chassis and uh, I'll remove shocks. Uh, Steering damper, but I've been ripping all the rubber hoses out. I got all new rubber rubber lines for them. They are actually in that top box, just to the right of the electric blower. Um, yeah. So the past month or so, I've been sinking a lot of cash into it. Um, but we're hopefully getting the motor buttoned up. I get the insert and the stud going. I'm going to run another compression test. Hopefully, with good results. Um, yeah, but the motor's been buttoned up. Uh, flywheel seal, graphic, you know, I did all that today since my back is hurting. But yeah, shocks and stuff are out. Uh, I'd say 90% of the old rusty brake components are out. I bought all new hard lines, new T-fitting for the brake lines, rubber hoses. I still need to order the... Damn, it's porn. Welcome to Arkansas, folks. I still need to order the wheel cylinders for the rear and the front um, the only really option up front are Taiwanese wheel cylinders um, but it is what it is um, but yeah guys I appreciate you hanging out with me today uh, this is so far on the 59 been plugging away um, again it doesn't look like much um, but it's getting there appreciate you hanging out tuning in for the progress and uh, I'm wishing you all well. Have a happy weekend. Be safe. Peace.